Good morning. You just saw it on your screen. Storm alert weather day. So let's break that down of what to expect then as you're heading out the door this Wednesday. You're certainly going to have periods today where it's dry. In fact, some spots may not even get any rain today because this will be scattered storms that are rolling through and I'll show you where they're coming from. But first, as we check what's happening outside right now, uh, there's not much ongoing. So for your morning commute, I think you're going to be fine as far as the weather goes getting into work. We are seeing increasing clouds, especially for our southern communities, but nothing coming up on radar. Let's pull backwards and see where that setup is. So you're going to notice this brown right here. That's a trough that's kind of draped across uh, from Arkansas through central portions of Mississippi down into Alabama and notice those storms that are along and on either side of that with those lightning bolts, central Alabama, northern Mississippi over to Louisiana and even extending up to the north beyond that. Now, most of this activity is going to ride that trough and bring the greater storm potential just to the south of our area, but we'll see, still see a push into our local region of a few rounds of showers and storms today. The first one is what you're seeing in northern Mississippi right now. That's going to hit northeast Alabama. Don't think we'll have a severe risk at that point in time, just some regular rain and storms and in about a couple of hours. So when we talk about the severe outlook, though, you'll notice that bigger bullseye as well to the south. That's that red color, that level four out of five for Jackson, Mississippi, Montgomery, Alabama. But draw your eye up to our local area and many of our communities are still highlighted. It's kind of split between that level one marginal risk and that level two slight risk. So what does that mean for you? Well, for everybody, even if you're not in that dark green color to the north, I would go ahead and say and know that yes, there could be an isolated strong to severe storm today. A little bit greater chances the further to the south you are. So what are our risks then that we're talking about? Well, it's the potential for damaging wind gusts that trees down, power lines down, and also some hail. We've had several storms just in the past couple of weeks that have produced hail. We'll have that threat once again for that quarter size hail. In fact, the damaging wind risk and hail maps are exactly the same. So 5% chance here for wind risk, 15% the further south you go. Let's switch over to the hail and you're seeing that same setup. So again, a little bit more likely for that severe potential if you're in Georgia and Alabama. So let's time that all out with Futurecast. Here's about 845 in the morning. So again, between about 8 and 9 a.m. Eastern time, so 7 and 8 a.m. Central Time, those storms that were in Mississippi are going to be moving into northeast Alabama. I don't really see a severe threat with this, but you could still have heavy rainfall in that lightning potential too, which will be a concern really throughout the day today, especially people who work outside. As we look ahead to late morning, you're going to notice a lot of spots don't have rain, but we still have a few periods there that have that scattered potential. And then into the afternoon, more of the same. So partly to mostly cloudy skies, you're certainly going to have dry periods today with a scattered activity, but if you do get hit with one of those storms, lightning threat, heavy rainfall possible. And I think even the greater period to kind of watch for may even be the evening hour. So afternoon and evening will be the time for that severe potential. But check this out. Here's about 630. Notice this cluster right here. And as it moves southward into Alabama and Georgia, how you start to get some of those purple colors coming up. That's a little bit of that indicator of those stronger storm potential as it's moving through this Wednesday evening. And then it's going to drop to the south for the area. Then overnight tonight, a few showers. Hours. That is even going to linger out. And as we look ahead to Thursday, a nice mix of sun and clouds. High temperatures tomorrow, generally in the low to mid 80s for your Thursday. And a few kind of widely scattered storms will be possible Thursday afternoon. So overall coverage tomorrow, certainly less than what we're going to see today. As far as those rain totals today, notice that gradient greater totals the further to the south you are. And it will depend on any kind of repeated storms. Those locations will have higher end there. So when we look at our hour by hour forecast, then in the 60s for the next few hours. Once again, spending a lot of the day in the 70s and then topping out today in the upper 70s to low 80s. Again, it is a storm alert weather day. Uh, it's one of those things that it's a low risk overall, but particularly for our communities that are south of Chattanooga, certainly for you extra kind of weather awareness today just with that severe potential and particularly with it being a Wednesday. People who work outside, if you your thunder, you see that lightning, go ahead and find your place, a safe place indoors to keep you away from the lightning.